Hello everyone and welcome to the Mary Kay US YouTube channel. My name is Christina Reed, Senior Manager of Salesforce Education at Mary Kay, and I'm so excited that you're watching. Today, you'll hear from two amazing independent Salesforce leaders who will share their Mary Kay journeys and why they love their Mary Kay businesses. Let's hear from our first guest. She is Independent Sales Director Morgan Hacker. Hey y'all, my name is Morgan Hacker and I've been building my Mary Kay business since July of 2019. In order for you to fully understand how much Mary Kay and this business has changed my life, I wanna take you back a little further to my pre-Mary Kay days. Before Mary Kay came into my life, I had been working in pediatric children's hospitals for eight years. I used to love my job. However, when I became a mom, I had a really hard time adjusting to the long days away from my daughter and weekends away from my family. I missed Christmases, birthdays, first steps, and anniversaries. And to make matters worse, right before I had my daughter, there was a huge change in my floor's work culture. I knew I wanted to leave my job. I knew something needed to change, but I did not have the confidence in myself to even apply for other jobs. My confidence continued to bottom out through the work culture that I was exposed to. I don't have a college degree. Who's gonna wanna hire me? I had zero confidence in myself as a wife, as a mother, and a friend. And quite frankly, I did not even think I was worth a safe work environment, better pay, better hours, or a healthy work-life balance. Fast forward to July of 2019. I was introduced to the Mary Kay opportunity by a friend at a facial appointment. I quickly fell in love with the high quality products and couldn't get over how amazing my face felt and how the sales director running the appointment made me feel like a queen. I felt like I was worth something for the first time in a while. When I joined, I had hoped to make some extra money here and there, but what I learned about myself through the mentorship and friendships of other women was so much more valuable to me than some side cash. I started to see this woman that was stuck inside of me, screaming to get out. I saw that even though I wanted so much more for my daughter, I had to have confidence in myself before I could teach her confidence. I had to love myself the way that my Mary Kay sisterhood loved me. As time went on, I continued to fall in love with the products and it became easier and easier to sell. And with that 50% profit potential, I mean, who wouldn't get excited about earning 50% on everything they sell at suggested retail? Thanks to my Mary Kay business, I was able to find balance and flexibility. Even through a worldwide pandemic, I continue to grow my business virtually and grow my confidence. The apps that Mary Kay has designed to help us reach our customers where they are has been a total game changer for me, and I'm sure for so many others. 2019 Morgan would never have washed her face on camera with strangers, taught a Glamour Tips class via Facebook Live, or felt confident enough to mentor other women. But I see myself every day, continuing to grow thanks to the Mary Kay culture. My four-year-old daughter is catching on to my confidence boost as well. Whether it's commanding the cows at my parents' farm, showing her pony at the local pony show, or going up to complete strangers in public to compliment them, she is utterly fearless. She loves to help me hand out pamper packages and break the ice with strangers, in exchange for an ice cream date afterwards, of course. But this is what I wanted for her. I never want her to feel inferior or broken down the way that I did. You see, it's not always what's taught, but what is caught. She is catching on to the culture that Mary Kay has provided to mommy, that women believe and uplift each other, that we treat every person with respect as if they had a sign around their neck that said, make me feel important. This business is so much more than profit and loss. It can be a reward of confidence and social influence. I'm so thankful to have given this business a chance and I hope that my story will encourage you to start creating your own story. Thank you so much, Morgan, for sharing your story and how Mary Kay just fits into your life. 
Now, before we jump into our next and final speaker, I'd love to officially announce the winners of the Uniquely Hue Makeover Contest that ran from August 16th through September 30th. During the contest period, contestants created a Uniquely Hue makeup look using the limited edition Mary Kay Warm Hues palette and or Mary Kay Chroma Fusion eyeshadow and uploaded their image with a caption to the contest website describing why the look was unique to them. Just last week, the public had the chance to vote on the top 13 finalists to determine the three grand prize winners and 10 honorable mention winners. The three grand prize winners will each win a $1,000 cash prize, a basket of Mary Kay favorites, and a shared virtual beauty masterclass with professional makeup artist Jalisa Jaikaron for them and up to 10 of their friends. The 10 honorable mention winners will each win a $500 cash prize and a basket of Mary Kay favorites. Okay, so ready to see who won? Congratulations to our winners! And a huge thank you to everyone who participated. We had so many gorgeous contestants. You can find contest information and winner names on the contest website as well. Now it's time to hear from our next speaker, the amazing independent national sales director, Chrisette Ellis. Hello, my name is Chrisette Ellis and I've been building my Mary Kay business for almost 30 years. And I am so thrilled to have this opportunity to share a little bit of my Mary Kay journey with you. Before becoming an independent beauty consultant with Mary Kay, my goal was to become a corporate executive. So when I got hired by Ford Motor Company as a program control analyst right out of college, I was so thrilled that I was positioning myself to make that goal a reality. Well, little did I know that my goals after working for a few years would change. After landing what I thought was my dream job, I got married to Charles, and two years later, I was pregnant with my first child, Kiera. I had no clue that becoming a mother would change my desire to move up the corporate ladder. I thought that I could manage the desire to move up the corporate ladder while still being a very present mom. Now, of course, I know that women have had to manage these two things for years. However, for me, I could feel my desire to be at home with my daughter was increasing. While working at Ford, I met Virginia Warfield. We became fast friends and would go to lunch together all the time. I remember telling her about my dilemma to spend more time at the job in hopes of moving up the corporate ladder or give up that dream and spend more time with my daughter. Well, while at lunch, Virginia and I would talk about other opportunities. I remember we came up with the list of three things that our dream job would have to offer. First, there could be no glass ceilings. Secondly, it had to be flexible. And lastly, it had to be legal. We would laugh and say to ourselves, that kind of opportunity just didn't exist. Well, a few years passed, I had another child, Charles, who we called Buddy. At this time, Kiera was two and a half years old and Charles was only nine months old and I was scheduled to go back to work from my maternity leave. But to my surprise, a week before I was scheduled to go back to work, I found out that I was pregnant again. I was in total shock. I can remember feeling embarrassed to tell my boss that I was not coming back to work from maternity leave because I was pregnant again. I was having so many complications that my doctor advised me that I should not go back to work until after the baby was born. What? How on earth would I manage building a corporate career with two small children and one on the way? I could feel myself stressing out. Something had to give. Well, the old adage is true. Be careful what you pray for. You just might get it. 
One day while I was at home, my phone rang and it was my good friend, Virginia. I can vividly remember the excitement in her voice. She couldn't wait to tell me about the opportunity that she believed was going to change her life and could possibly change my life as well. Over the phone, I could feel her excitement, which made me excited. I couldn't wait to hear about this new opportunity. The more she talked, the more excited I became until finally I said, hey, what's the name of this opportunity? She said, Mary Kay. And immediately my excitement went from 10 to one. Mary Kay? I didn't want to do Mary or Kay. I never envisioned myself in a direct sales company. No one in my immediate family was an entrepreneur, so I didn't believe that I would be successful at it. I told her I wasn't interested, to which she asked me why I was saying no to an opportunity that I had not listened to yet. I'll never forget her saying these very powerful words to me. She said, intelligent people make decisions once they have all the facts. I must say these words stung a little and I had to agree that I was saying no to an opportunity before hearing all the facts. She asked me if her independent sales director could come by and share the opportunity with me and I said yes. That yes was the beginning of my life being changed forever. 29 and a half years later, I can still say I am glad I said yes. You may ask me what made me change my emphatic no to an excited yes. Well, the reality of my life, two small children and a third on the way, compiled with the fact that I was not a makeup wearer. Many questions spiraled through my mind as I listened to the Mary Kay opportunity. How would I find and build a customer base? Who would teach me how to apply makeup? How would I get through my first presentation without letting my nerves get the best of me? Well, those questions were answered to my satisfaction when I was reassured that I would be in business for myself, but not by myself. I was told that I would receive the support that I needed. I was worried about having to sell a certain amount but I was told that there were no sales folders and that I was completely in charge of how much I wanted to sell from week to week. I wanted to be reassured that I would get the support I needed if I chose to become an independent beauty consultant. The opportunity to earn up to 50% profit on everything I sold at suggested retail were the magic words I needed to hear to help me make my decision at that time in my life. What I appreciate and love about my Mary Kay journey is the many lessons that I have learned along the way. I love the person that I have become in the process, from gaining confidence to speak in front of crowds, to learning how important it is to affirm people. Mary Kay taught me that everyone wears an invisible sign around their neck that says, make me feel important. This has served me well, not only on my Mary Kay journey, but also as a pastor's wife of one of the largest churches in Detroit, Michigan. I believe that Mary Kay is one of the best self-improvement companies that anyone can be a part of. You will learn a lot about yourself on this journey. And quite frankly, it will show you what you're made of. It has taught me things like how to stay focused, be disciplined, follow up, and follow through. If you can get excited about an opportunity that gives you flexibility, personal growth, and an opportunity to be in business for yourself but not by yourself, the Mary Kay opportunity is a place for you. You are in the driver's seat. You get to grow your business on your own terms while building relationships that will last a lifetime. Nothing beats a failure but a try. So why not give Mary Kay a try and see if this potentially 
could be the opportunity of a lifetime for you. In closing, I want you to answer this quick question. I want you to pick either A, B, or C. Could this opportunity fit into your life? A means absolutely. I'm interested and with your help, I'm willing to try. B means book me for a second appointment. I have questions and I would love to talk more. C means could be for me down the road. Until then, I would love to be your customer. If you're all in and want to start a Mary Kay business right now, take advantage of the limited time promotion in the month of October 2022. Yes, the Mary Kay e-start is available for $20. You heard it right, $20. It's a great way to work your business from the comfort of home and still have the opportunity to connect virtually with your customers on a personal level. Or you could start with the Mary Kay Starter Kit for $90, which includes everything in Mary Kay eStart, plus retail size products for sampling, a more than $400 value, additional products and samples for October 2022 only, business resources, tips, and selling techniques designed to help you empower your sales. A great month to start, plus limited time offers that you could get to take advantage of once you become an independent beauty consultant. So if you think Mary Kay is for you, please reach out to your independent beauty consultant who invited you to watch for more information and click the links below to learn more about the Mary Kay opportunity. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye.